Hello guys, welcome back to Photographics Academy. All right, so today I'm going to be showing you one of the most powerful combos you can use as a photographer to create amazing, breathtaking images, right? So when I say two powerful combos, like I mean two powerful combinations you can use. And what we're going to be looking at is how to combine Photoshop and your AI to produce mind-blowing result so this is the image we are going to be working with and i already have a sample image i want to sample the background rec uh, recreate something similar but not exactly without wasting your time let's quickly get started so this is the sample image we want to use let me show you so i'll drag it right into photoshop where you can see it all right keep it right here amazing shots we have right here so this is the background we want to simulate not exactly like i said but something similar i want to have it on our own object so if you look at it you notice that the inspiration of this particular image came from this even the dressing and all of that but of course we cannot get exactly the same thing so what do we do very simple so i'm going to remove this here the the ai we're going to be using to do this combination is actually the one in your mind the one you are guessing right now is nano banana so i even have already taken out my time to you know do the generation and all of that and this is a result i got so if you look at you notice that the girl is actually you know being moved around in the whole store and in the shot and this is background we are going to use. So the prompts that allowed us to create this is going to be available in our Telegram community. So if you want to assess the prompt to recreate this kind of background, all you need to do is just to join our Telegram community and you'll be getting the prompt. So what do I do right now that we'll have this thing here? It's very simple. So all I have to do is just two things. I can download this, right? I can just download it. After downloading, bring it back and tell it to remove the girl and give me just the background or i can just you know let me say uh give me just the background okay so this is still trying to download let's place it uh right here i guess this is where the one we're working with is same it right here so if this doesn't work we'll try the second option so i just said give me just the background Oh, beautiful. Did a good job. So we'll just work with the background without, you know, having to bring it back here. So we'll download the background. Then we can now go back to our folder and collect it. So this is our background over here. This is our object. Now, all we need to do is just to drag it into Photoshop. Place it here. Now, to use this background on this image, you can't just carry it and drop it, right? You need to do some basic things like separate the object from the background and all of that. So we'll crop our image to fit our Instagram size, but we'll give her enough uh, negative space considering the fact that the background itself is quite huge. So press OK with our content that we're turned on so that it fills all those areas that would, you know, normally have borders. Beautiful. So we'll make a selection of our object by clicking any selection to go to select subject, then wait for it to do the magic beautiful the selection is done right click and go to select inverse make a duplicate of the background layer right click again go to layer via cut so now you notice we'll have the object on a separate layer and the background on a separate layer normally i would have loved to blur out the background but it's actually looking smooth and neat so i wouldn't need to do that if in case you have a rough background this is the point where you can just reload your selection blur it out and have a clean smooth background I just thought you had to clean up your studio backdrop. So the next thing to do is to make sure that my object layer is above here and my background layer is here. Now it's time to bring in our background. So I'm going to unlock this and also try cropping it with the same size we cropped our own image so that it just fits in without us losing any parts. Beautiful. So we we'll press enter and wait for it to fill up. Let's hope it doesn't mess it up. Oh, this is cool. So pick up your move tool, drag the background, move it to your object and place it over here. Here for so hold your alternate to scale it in. Nice one. So I'm going to lock my anchor point here. 
and just scale in variable so let, considering where we took our inspiration from let me see if i can place my own object right here very good beautiful or we can even leave her in the center but i think the center is a bit too distracting let's leave her by the side over here then press ok or you can even decide to reduce you know your background a bit this is cool press enter so once that is done of course you need to change the blend mode to overlay but when you do that you'll notice two things our background becomes washed out and we lose the color so what do we do we create a solid color adjustment layer in between the two of them make sure it's a gray adjustment layer see it's already adjusted but we're not seeing our shadows so what do we do we either use our color which would not bring it back because it's still looking dark or we use our multiply and reduce the intensity very good so we have a very high contrast backdrop against our object that is still looking really perfect now we'll have our shadows perfectly restored few things i would want to make some corrections on in this image is number one her skin tone so i want her skin tone popping i want it having saturated orange look so to do that i'll just use my solid color over here select you know this thing i just mentioned saturated orange feel somewhere around here let's go down a bit beautiful press ok then turn it off make a duplicate of your image layer go to your masking go to select go to modify or rather color range yeah so color range is going to help you select the skin tone and everything looking like it press ok use that mask to replace that of the color feel so now if we open up the color feel you'll notice that it's almost on every single part of her skin so we just use our brush and put it into the places that it didn't touch and also remove it from the places it's not supposed to touch either so your paint over here make sure it's a soft round brush see over here too okay so the next thing to do is to change the blend mode to soft light or even color so i think soft light does a better job you'll do this beautiful this works for me or oh, it's slightly too dark right so we'll go to our course copy the mask place it here and just use it to you know brighten up our skin tone now the next thing is to saturate my background if you look at it the background looks slightly washed out so what do we do we can even create you know let's see what color cups can do to it if it's going to give it a very poppy look i like the word that indeed this is sweet too this is so cute okay i think i love this one the contrast the more colors and all of that's beautiful so another inspiration i just got now is that we can actually give her a reflection on the floor but if we give her a reflection on the floor the background also will be needing a reflection because the background you know all the stuffs on it are not reflected so what we are going to do now is to create a global color grading before we go into our camera roll to do the last thing so we just use our you know uh color look up to see if we will get a very beautiful global color grading over there this is so sweet so we'll reduce this very good now the next thing to do is to create a stand visible layer go to filter go to camera roll now you can decide to cool it down a bit right reduce the highlight a bit add a little contrast then go into your calibration you can now push this up I think we'll need to cool down a little bit more all right so for towards my color mixer i want her dress to be saturated so add greens to it look at that saturate the greens maybe push it towards a better green to me you know something like this beautiful then her handbag is pinkish so we'll push out the pinks like this nice one it will create a very beautiful vignetting effect like this so i think i need to brighten everything up slightly and the result is good love what i have here okay that's not good all right so press okay 
and the job is done. Let me show you. This is the before right here. This is the after. So let me bring back our reference image. What we looked at and we said, okay, let's attempt creating something similar. Look at our reference image. Look at our final results. So I need to, of course, reduce the effects we had here. And you can as well add some airy fill by going to your holes and just, you know, pushing in a little brightness into your shadows. And this is how you combine Photoshop with the most powerful AI tool that will aid your creative tonic, which is your nano banana. Thank you so much for watching this amazing video. Do make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you subscribe, click on the notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video. Like I said, if you're interested in getting the prompt, just join our Telegram community and you'll be getting the prompt on how on that you can use to recreate this exact background for your own project. See you on the next one.